politics and prophetic messages are intertwined because on the political platform in human terms the value systems and actions of humans are played out through political systems and according to ideologies that operate behind the actions of governments of the world and global government it's the platform of power the realm of power in the earth realm there is a higher form of governance which is above the government of the earth above global government and national heads of state and that is the government of heaven and in this season we will see the government of heaven effect events across the world that will appear to be uh, catastrophic cataclysmic events that don't make a great deal of sense in terms of the politics of the day but are deliverances and destructions and judgments that come against the kingdoms of men according to the government of heaven working out purposes here on earth so what we see with our eyes the establishment of global government and the realm of the spirit which is above the establishment of global government are going to be coming into a season of war the intentions of one in the flesh will be opposed by the spirit of the God of all creation and that battlefront will be played out war famine plague in the next season I've seen a vision of the white horse the pale horse in it and in the vision the word was the pale horse is the only one that turns returns and I believe we're going to be seeing the return of the pale horse who brings behind it death and hate pestilence the sword and famine in the same way that Abraham misunderstood the promise of God that came through the angel regarding the birth of Isaac in this season there will be a misunderstanding who people who have taken into their own hands the fulfillment by the flesh according to the reasoning and wisdom of men not according to the spirit and the provision of the Messiah and God's supernatural plan for bringing humanity back into the final temple the temple that consists not of bricks and mortar but of human bodies filled with the Holy Spirit and redeemed and made whole the bride of Christ the last church the fully redeemed body is the temple that the habitation of God now dwells in and in these last days the bride will be brought into fullness the body into fullness cleansed healed made perfect and spotless in these days of chaos and calamity the counterfeit the misconstruction of the promise will also be taking place at the same time and that is the conflict that we will be in during this next seven year period the counterfeit the flesh construction the misconstruction of the promise in a similar way to how Isaac the promise was misconstrued and brought about the birth of Ishmael according to the slave wife servant of Abraham the child was born by flesh this temple will be built according to the flesh the understanding and the construction of God's purpose through human logic and reasoning and will result in what scripture talks about as the covenant of death a false covenant that is established on a false premise and brings about destruction the purpose of God by promise according to the spirit and the power the supernatural power of the government of heaven is also going to be brought to its fullness through the Messiah and as the counterfeit plan fails the revelation of the Messiah will be given to the people of Israel despite the misconstruction and the false attempt to achieve the will of God the will of God will be achieved and revelation of the Messiah will come it says in Zechariah that they will weep bitterly over the one they pierced in this day of betrayal when the seven-year peace treaty of death the covenant of death is agreed to with the Antichrist and Israel the culmination of the events between the government of heaven and the heaven of the, the government of earth 
will bring about a revelation of the Messiah. And the purpose of God will be played out as it was intended in the first place. However, the dream that I have received recently relates to the events that are going to take place to draw Israel into this peace tree, this covenant of death in the next seven years. We're at the end of a seven year cycle and just about to enter into the beginning of a new seven year cycle in the Hebrew calendar, which begins in Rosh Hashanah, September this year. And in this vision, I saw a mushroom cloud, something that might look like a nuclear explosion. And this time, a second time I've received this vision, the word Ataman written across the explosion. 14th of February 2023, North East Gate, the old city of Jerusalem, peace treaty. All of these elements I have researched. I believe this represents an event that will take place on the outside, perhaps near the gate, the fifth gate called the Lion's Gate on the northeast corner of the city, which is the city's quadrant currently occupied by Islamic community. This event will take place to trigger the peace treaty agreement between the Antichrist, who in previous visions I have seen as a Nazi SS officer. How does this vision connect to the Antichrist in Brussels, the European Union world government? and why a Nazi figure. Ataman relates back to the Nazi origins, the kingdom of the Nazi political alignment began as an agrarian movement, a nationalistic, back to basics, blood and soil, a puritanical naturalist platform that rejuvenated, sought to reinvigorate the connection with the youth to the land of Germany and to expand its influence into the territories and repel the influence of Slavic culture from the eastern side of Europe into German territory. It was a, a paramilitary to a degree, but really an agrarian movement that indoctrinated the youth into the ideology of pure race theory. It was birthed in the early 1900s before the First World War and eventually 80% or more of the participants in this organisation became members of the Nazi party. Uh, Himmler was one of the members of the Artemann League. The ideology that's attached to the Artemann League, and this was the name written across the explosion, is also involved in the conflict now between Ukraine and Russia. Many articles have explained or depicted the Black Sun insignia and various other Nazi insignia on the fighters in Ukraine who are repelling in Ukraine Slavic influences from the East. And that origin comes from the Western side of Europe and the Aryan race culture, which was attempting under social Darwinism to isolate and preserve and protect the Aryan characteristics of the Nordic traditions through Western European nations. By selecting out according to social biological characteristics, any ethnic group that did not have maybe four generations of grandparents that had come from original Aryan roots hyper-nationalist, narrow construction of national identity, authoritarian, undemocratic, and not pluralist, but purist in terms of its definition of who had access to the resources of the state and to the point where anyone who was excluded became isolated, set in concentration camps, work camps, and then executed as we've seen in World War II. That same spirit is active now. In 2019, in New Zealand, there was a massacre in a mosque which stimulated a gun buyback or an amnesty of, of guns in the private community by the government. The person who perpetrated this particular crime had formally identified himself as 
an eco-fascist, unusual connection that someone with those thoughts, ideologies, ecology, sustainability, plants and animals would have a racial element to a crime committed. Why would he be anti-Islamic, Islamophobic and commit a crime like this? But when we look at the origins of the Ottoman League, we can see that eco-fascism is tied to Nazism in this early organisation called the Ottoman League in the 1920s, which became Nazism. So again, when we look at the green movement and the political spectrum today, from 1990 through to today, about 30 years worth after the fall of the Soviet Union, the Brundtland Commission had been established under the United Nations. Following through the ideals of the United Nations, the sustainability doctrines emerged as a secondary aspect, an expression of human rights doctrines that were part of the founding, founding papers of the United Nations after the Second World War. In 1993, the Brundtland Commission uh, defined sustainable development, which had to do with equity through generations. So sustainable development doesn't diminish the natural heritage through this generation and to the next. And so what has become now a bipartisan accepted definition of sustainable development from the right and left in politics has been attributed to the left of politics, the, the socialist and communist aspect of this idea, but behind the green socialist language, we have the full spectrum of political ideology represented, even to the far right extreme, hyper-nationalist and fascist authoritarian ideology, which was part of Nazi culture in its origins. This spirit becomes the head of world government. People might be wondering, how is that gonna happen? How could it be? So it's actually under the green agenda and the green banner that this event takes place. And how this explosion is connected to world government the Antichrist, Western European, and now the event that's taking place, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, which is anti-Slavic Nazi conflict at its core. These are the events that will trigger Israel making a treaty with the Antichrist, which marks the beginning of the seven year period of tribulation and the marking system that will come into effect in this season. It strikes me as unusual and perhaps not so coincidental given the nature of these ideologies and the history in the concentration camps of experimental medical procedures that at the moment we have uh, people willingly submitting to doctrines of experimental medication in a similar way to how patients or inmates would have been treated in concentration camps. Now, only by the influence of ideas and ideologies, people are willingly submitting to experimental drug therapy delivered through global pharmaceutical companies, through global government, global health treaties and national governments. It's the same spirit as we were seeing in the Second World War, rebranded in a new green doctrine behind the green doctrine of social justice environmental justice equity sustainability are far right extreme hyper nationalist ideologies which explains how events are taking place today and how they're going to take place in the next seven years to bring about what scripture refers to as the mark of the beast and the seven year peace tree, the covenant of death and the tribulation season, which in this vision appears to be dated the 14th of February, 2023. If you'd like to read more about those events, the book of Daniel discusses the times, time and half a time, 1260 days and 1260 days. And the book of Revelation also mentions this period of time when the marking system will be 
introduced across the earth.